Good morning and welcome back to our chronological Bible reading. We're so glad you're joining us today, friends, and hope that you enjoy our time together reading God's Word. We encourage you to grab your Bible. You might want to get a notepad to study along as we dig into the Word of God together. We are in Psalm chapter 74 today, so we encourage you to open up there. Psalm 74. O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, which you have redeemed. This is Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift up your feet to the perpetual desolations. The enemy has damaged everything in the sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of their meeting place. They set up their banners for signs. They seem like men who lift up axes among the thick trees. And now they break down its carved work all at once with axes and hammers. They set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They have said in their hearts, let us destroy them altogether. They have burned up all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our signs. There is no longer any prophet, nor is there any among us who knows how long. O oh God, how long will the adversary reproach? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withdraw your hand, even your right hand? Take it out of your bosom and destroy them. For God is my king from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the sea serpents and the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gave him as food to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You broke open the fountain of the flood. You dried up the mighty rivers. The day is yours. The night is also yours. You have prepared the light and the sun, and you set borders on the earth. You've made summer and winter. Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O Lord, and that a foolish people has blasphemed your name. O oh, do not deliver the life of your turtle dove to the wild beast. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Have respect to the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the haunts of cruelty. O oh, do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Arise, O God, plead your own case. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Do not forget the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those who rise against you increases continually. Psalm 75. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your wondrous works. Declare that your name is near. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved. I set up its pillars firmly. I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. For exaltation comes near from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It's fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horn of the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 76. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. and Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the arrows of the bow, shield, and the sword of battle. You are more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted were plundered. They have sunk into their sleep, and none of the mighty men have found the use of their hands. At you rebuke, O God of Jacob. Both the chariot and horse were cast into the dead sleep. You yourself are to be feared. And who may stand in your presence when once you are angry? You caused judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when God arose to judgment to deliver the oppressed of the earth. Surely the wrath of men shall praise you with the remainder of wrath you guard, you guard yourself. Make vows to the Lord your God and pay them. Let all those who are around him bring presents to him who ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spirit of the princes he is awesome to the kings of the earth. Psalm 77. I cried out to God with my voice, to God with my voice, and he gave ear to me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hand was stretched out in the night without ceasing. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. You hold my eyelids open. I'm so troubled I cannot speak. I've considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. 
I meditate within my heart, and my spirit makes diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever, and will he be favorable no more? He has, mercy, has his mercy ceased forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his tender mercies? And I said, this is my anguish, but I will remember the years of my right, of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will also meditate on all your work and talk of all your deeds. Your ways, O God, in the sanctuary, who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have with your arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and they were afraid. The depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Your arrows also flashed about. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. The lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, your path was in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Psalm 78. Give ear, O my people, to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable, I will utter dark sayings of old, which we've heard and known and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from our children, telling the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments." And may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that didn't set its heart aright and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The, ch the children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They didn't keep the covenant of God. They refused to walk in his law and forgot his works and his wonders that he had shown them. Marvelous things he did in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt and the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through and he made the water stand up like a heap. In the daytime, he led them with a cloud, and in the night, with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness. He gave them drink in abundance like the depths. He also brought streams out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. But they sinned even more against him, being rebelling uh, by rebelling against the Most High in the wilderness. They tested God in their heart by asking for the food of their fancy. Yes, they spoke against God. They said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Behold, he struck the rock, and the waters gushed out, and streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide meat for his people? Therefore the Lord heard this and was furious. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and an anger also came against Israel, because they didn't believe in God, and they didn't trust in his salvation. Yet he had commanded in the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven and rained down manna on them to eat and given them of the bread of heaven. Men ate angels' food. He sent them food to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heavens and his, by his power he brought out the south wind. He also rained meat on them in the, like dust, feathered fowl like the sand of the sea. And he let them fall in the midst of their camp all around their dwellings. And they ate and were filled, well filled. For, their, for he gave them out of their own desire. They were not deprived of their craving, but while their food was still in their mouths, the wrath of God came against them and slew the stoutest of them and struck down the choice men of Israel. In spite of this, they still sinned and they didn't believe in the wondrous works. Therefore their days he consumed in futility and their years in fear. When he slew them, they sought him and returned and seek, sought earnestly for God. Then they remembered that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Nevertheless, they flattered him with their mouth and they lied to him with their tongue. For their heart was not steadfast with him, for they were faith, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Yet many a time he turned his anger away and didn't stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that passes away and doesn't come again. How often they provoked him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Yet again and again they tempted God 
and limited the Holy One of Israel. They didn't remember his power in the day when he redeemed them from the enemy, when he worked the signs in Egypt and the wonders in the field of Zoan, turned the rivers into blood and their streams that they could not drink, and sent swarms of flies among them which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them and gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost, and he gave up the cattle to the hail and the flocks to the fiery lightning. He sat on them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending angels of destruction among them. He made a path for his anger. He didn't spare their soul from death, but gave their life over to the plague and destroyed all the firstborn in Egypt, their first of their strength in the tents of Ham. But he made his own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely so that they didn't fear, but the sea overwhelmed the, their enemies. And he brought them to this holy border, this mountain which he had, uh, his right hand had acquired. He also drove out the nations before them, allotted them an inheritance by survey, and made the tri tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. Yet they tested and provoked the Most High God and didn't keep his testimonies, but turned back and acted unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their carved images. When God heard this, he was furious and he greatly abhorred Israel. So they forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent he had placed among them, and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. He also gave his people over to the sword and was furious with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men and their maidens were not given in marriage. Their priests fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awoke from sleep, as from sleep, like a mighty man who shouts because of wine, and he beat his back against his enemies. He put them into perpetual reproach. Moreover, he rejected the tent of Joseph, and he didn't choose the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth, which is, has established forever. He also chose David his servant and took from him the sheepfolds. From following the ewes that he had young, young uh, he had brought to him to shepherd Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance. So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. I want to thank you so much for joining us today for our time of Bible reading. And we hope you'll join us again tomorrow as we keep reading the book of Psalms. Until the next time, have a blessed day.